Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Vangelis. Back when I ordered my first two TFC Constructor Robots from Captured Prey, I wanted to kick off a set of toys that cost an arm and a leg by picking up an arm and a leg. Ha ha ha. We've seen the arm, now it's time for the leg. This is Structor, the, possibly, leader of these Herculean mechanical menaces. Structor's alt mode is a giant steroid-fueled payloader. His arms are kind of just chilling out on the side of this mode, although the small ladders sculpted into them imply an immense size. He's hardcore chunky, right down to his huge, happily rolling tires. The bucket can move around pretty well, even featuring a hydraulic piston joint. There are even 3mm clip points. Overall, this is a vehicle mode for play, more so than high-end looks. There are ports all over the payloader that can take his two guns and two wing accessories. Like Xgraver, the cockpit is a removable piece that can plug in anywhere you want. Speaking of Xgraver, there's a larger port that can accommodate his scooper arm if you want to just invent a new hybrid vehicle mode. But that's enough Frankenstein action, let's transform! Structor's conversion is very easy, not adding a lot to the classic G1 scrapper process outside of swiveling shoulder bases and a fairly potent posterior pack. He also has some big heel platforms that swing down out of his shins, and they can be hard to get out of there due to their stiff swivel joints. This is definitely not a guy to purchase for a complex transformation, but I do feel it accomplishes enough to avoid being boring. Structor's got a lot of scrapper in him, looking extremely G1 with a bunch of added surface detail. From the rear, things get a bit less nostalgic as his enormous three-tiered backpack covers up most of the view. There are a bunch of methods that collectors have figured out as far as compressing those things further, but I usually leave it in its base configuration to avoid part swapping the cockpit. Thanks to his huge heels, Structor doesn't really topple backwards very much, but aesthetically, it's very hard to ignore. Outside of his rear end, Structor's got a really awesome head sculpt backed up by crimson light piping and striking silver paint. That silver paint also adorns various details on his green and purple body, adding a few pops that keep him visually interesting. As with his vehicle mode, there are a bevy of ports for attaching Structor's two guns and two wings. I am still digging this extra layer of playability that most adult collectors would probably not miss if it weren't there. Collectors, adult or child alike, would probably miss posability if it wasn't there, so let's see what this guy's is like. He has a swiveling head, and then because of the nature of the track that his head rides on to transform, there's actually a little bit of tiltability in here, but don't pull it up all the way because then it's really hard to push back down. Uh, and by having it not up all the way, you also get these extra kind of tilt options. They're not super good because you are just literally wedging the inside platform against the walls of the column that it rises up out of, but hey, posing's posing. His shoulders are on universal joints, and I do like that it is easy and smooth to move the shoulders without moving this huge ratchet joint around. His elbows are a bit funny looking because they've got a really good range of motion, but if you bend them, you get that big ass gap there, so... You have to be able to deal with that. I kind of wish there was something that could have gone inside there to, to fill it in, but that's just the style of this dude's arms. His elbow is this tiny thing. His wrists don't really move. Uh, the transformation lets them do this, which is not really useful at all. Thanks to a certain function of his, he actually has this crazy mid-ab sideways crunch, which is neat. It, it can add some personality to his poses here and there and make it look like he's in the middle of a dynamic uh, kind of stumble or run or sprint, especially with the inclusion of his waist joint, which is on a couple of detents. So that's neat. Uh, the waist joint does bump into the butt pack now and then, um, so you can transform the butt pack out of the way to get increased waist movement, but you do still get a good click left and right, which is enough for me. His hips are on universal joints, uh, with more detents. Um, his knees are on mega detents. These are perhaps a little bit too strong? I don't know. The nice part is that because they're so strong, they can uh, really put up with the weight of his backpack in tandem with the huge uh, heel platforms. So I guess it's a good thing. Uh, it means that he doesn't fall over very easily. He doesn't have any other articulation on his ankles or whatnot because his feet are basically blocks sticking out of his shins. Um, and it doesn't interfere too much with his ability to balance, mostly because of those heel platforms. If you have him on the, the corners of his feet here, or I guess the corners of his legs, he doesn't really fall over. So it doesn't look really pretty, but it works. And I guess that's uh, really, in a nutshell, this guy's posability. It's not very pretty, but it works. There's a bicep swivel as well.
I guess you guys needed to know that. Structor! Structor is a simple transforming robot, perhaps a little too simple for his price point, outside of his membership in the Hercules team. However, something about him just works for me. I think my comrade Drew Iden translated my feelings best on Twitter. Structor is a smooth modernization and upscaling of the essence of his G1 Hasbro-owned counterpart. He's got strong identity in his sculpt and shape, bolstered by a solid number of articulation points and some fun playability in his accessory hard points. Structor's riding a line, just able to stand as a solitary figure, but wearing a backpack of bullet points that could draw enough focus away from his strengths to leave him as a mere member of a team. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and I hope you're ready for some more green and purple in your internets. Structor and Xgraver were my gateway toys. After them, I could only fall deeper down, down, down the rabbit hole.